guys are never gonna believe this I was with my little cousin the other day that's still in middle school. He's in seventh grade. I haven't been in school in a really long time because I'm turning into a dusty old bag of shit. So I was with him the other day and I decided to ask him how school going. We were talking and he asked me, what is one memory from middle school that you miss the most? And I said, hmm, I'll tell you what, Junior, I kind of miss playing dodgeball in PE class and completely punting people in the fucking face. He said, what's that? STDs are running rampant in Houston. So the results that just came back in for the number of STD cases in Houston in one week. Chlamydia, 3,678. Gonorrhea, 2,955. Syphilis, 22,715 cases in one week. Once again, I'm dealing with another situation where my son has left out the door and ran away in the middle of the night. Now the police is bringing him to my house. I just don't know what to do. The system is broken and there's no help out here for us. Parents, single parent, I'm crying out for help. All right. I'm not signing it. Okay. I'm, I'm not signing no ticket. This your podcast. This your podcast. Hey. In the building. Ladies and That's gentlemen. Yeah, you know I mean, guess who's the Zach? S- still. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish your little line. Yeah. The crack of you know Go ahead. Go I ahead. Got, I got a new one. Okay. I got a new one. I got a okay. new one. I got a stoli. <laughs> If she don't hawk to her, I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> we starting off on fire tonight. <laughs> if she don't want to hawk to her, I don't want to talk to her. I'm using that. Ooh. Ooh, they, all, they all getting that this 4th of July weekend. Yeah, hey, hey, listen, baby. Listen. If you don't want to talk to her, I, I can't talk to y'all. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Yeah, that's it. This your podcast exclusive. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Ain't that right? I like that one. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh yes. So look, let's go to the introductions, y'all. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Don't do that. Do not do that. I was. Ooh, you know what? I was thinking. No, no. Ladies first. <laughs> didn't we do ladies Ooh, first last time? Wrong no, here. you didn't. Because uh, I said, you know what? I'll let y'all go ahead because it was Father's Day. So, ooh, ladies you, first. You, ladies you, first. you already had Mother's ooh, Day, right? Yeah, you know that. Ladies first. Ladies first. This your podcast, of course. Uh, <laughs> Lost the Dark Gable. I got my man over here. Listen, y'all already know, mm-hmm. Mr. One, CJ, the one hand bandit. Yeah, hey, look. Give uh, it to listen, me. I be. Yeah. I be. <laughs> I be trying, but you know. Anyway, y'all know who it is. <laughs> I, I was gonna say something fly like loose, but I couldn't get it out. But, uh, you yeah, know, I, mean, I, Mr. I do a lot, but you know, I don't do the most. <laughs> Mr. Finger Popper over right. here himself. I'm right here. This yeah. my left hand. Then, last but here. not least. Last but. Hey. Can I say that first? Can I say it? Hey. Last but not least. Save the best for last. Yeah, I ain't say all that. But last save but the, not save least. Save the best for last. Honey dip tea. Honey dip tea. Honey dip tea, goddamn. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know y'all missed me. Yes, yeah. I missed you Every too. Every white man's drink. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why is that just be the white daddy man's dream? Com. Sugardaddy.com. <laughs> why is it got to be the white man's dream? Huh? You know they, you know they love the the, the caramel Listen, and the I'm, chocolate. I'm trying to, you I'm know, not get chocolate, you. I'm honey. Get, it's it's get honey, you, like cinnamon. You know, set up for chocolate. life. Excuse me. I'm trying to get you set up for life. Get yourself a nice pension. Old plan. white man. What'd you just say, with CJ? That, with that pension, like CJ pension, said, with that pension, pension plan. Yeah, with that pension, and them 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 daddy. New Balance sneakers <laughs> <laughs> with the straps. Yeah, with the, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean, with the straps. With, with, with the mailman socks. We trying to get you set up right, oh, girl. Yeah, I'm the knees. Yeah. <laughs> Not the <laughs> pop up, <laughs> pop up sixes. On. Oh God! I mean, this is your podcast. Of course, y'all welcome. We got a great show for y'all as usual. We got five viral videos to react to. We want y'all to sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and comment. And comment. Sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. Change. Yes. You know what I'm saying? 
Ain't that right? Yeah. I need dip tea. That's my homegirl. I need dip tea. Oh, look. Oh, oh, whoa, ho, ho. Do we got the first video? No, we only had the first video set up. Man, I mean, because T been over here distracted me as you I didn't I didn't distract y'all but why he's so distracted uh let me just remind y'all or for anybody that's new to our channel we are on other platforms Spotify mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pandora mm -hmm. YouTube music mm -hmm. hold up wait a minute some more iHeartRadio mm -hmm. did I miss anything um something no no okay. I think right. I, I so think, make sure y'all go find it. us on there this yeah. one yeah, yes. and make sure you know you subscribe. God damn it. Yes. Hold on, look, before I start the first video, y'all, let me take a sip one. real quick. Amazon Music. How oh, could I forget? Shit, I Amazon, music. Amazon Music. I forgot. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. If you can't watch us, if you can't catch us live on YouTube, yeah, make, make sure, sure you, you catch come us on, on one Memorex, of those right? streaming services. Yeah. We're on there too. Catch us on Memorex. Remember that? If it ain't live, it's Memorex. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Danny, hey. welcome, 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 welcome. Thank Danny. you for God subscribing. Yeah, welcome. Man. Hold on, so before, hold on, hold on. Listen, hold on, y'all, before I start the uh -uh. first video. I got to take a quick pop of my Woodford Reserve. Ooh, I'm a Kentucky native. We don't native. care about your Woodford Reserve, okay? Oh, listen here, girl. Don't play me. Don't play me. Yeah, just because you like Four Loco. Yeah. Man. Poor Loco. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, she like CJ. to drink that more. CJ, <laughs> CJ, CJ trying to play me now. She like to drink that more. CJ trying to play me now. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. You ain't even on for it. <sighs> you drinking uh Boy. Bahama Breeze or some some, some Kool Aid or something? <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. So look, first video, y'all. Look, first video. We got a man that caught feelings for one of his friends, uh, but she wasn't interested. Now he's refusing to walk her home. Damn. So let's listen to this story. It's this John podcast. Oh, <laughs> let's go. A man refused to walk his friend back to her dorms when she felt unsafe, all because she rejected him once. In his Reddit post, the man explained that he'd been friends with a woman named Danny for the last three years. On a typical Saturday night, he, Annie, and some of their friends would hang out, and then he would walk her back to her dorm before heading back to his dorm. However, about a month ago, he realized he had feelings for Annie and asked her out on a date. She friend zoned him. It didn't bother him too much, however, he did want to cut back on their friendship a bit. But he has stopped walking her back to her dorm. The first couple of weeks, she walked on her own. One week, she asked him to walk her back because she was scared to walk alone at midnight, especially while drunk. He told her to get an Uber or to ask someone else because he was too tired. While it's understandable that he would want to cut back on their friendship a bit after being rejected, a friendship shouldn't be conditional on romantic interest and reciprocation. It's as if he suddenly stopped caring about her safety and well-being because she didn't return his romantic feelings. The man has been accused of exhibiting nice guy behavior acting kind, but then believing he deserves a relationship in return for his friendship. People on Reddit called him out, saying if he was truly friends with Annie, he would still care about her safety. He's more than welcome to work through his feelings, but that doesn't justify his actions and his complete disrespect towards Annie. He blatantly showed that their friendship doesn't mean much after his ulterior motive was void. Gentlemen, don't be that guy. A woman doesn't owe you any- hey man, that's bullshit. Yeah, it, it completely How, is. Yeah, come on now, come on now. Like yeah, at some on. point, like, was she showing any kind of signs that she liked him in any other man and manner other than platonic? And then yeah. also at the same time, it's like that just goes to show that his his intentions weren't weren't real. Like if it was just basically he was her friend because of possibly what he was going to get out of it. That's not a friend. But 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 maybe his intentions were real. It's just fact like once you in that once you get put if you put me in that friend zone. And then you expect me to do the things that a boyfriend would do? Oh, no, nah, you are, nah, you got it, baby. Yeah, but we For don't... One, we... nobody told you to stay over that motherfucking late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> catch your Uber. <laughs> I'm good. Nah, good. Nah, no. So you, you basically are... saying it's like some mixed signals here. Yeah, you, are, you are not getting boyfriend um, privileges being a, being just a, a friend. No, I'm sorry. Nah. That, okay. Don't, if not... Call your man. Tell your man come. So what come, about come vice versa? You. Like when when the chicks giving giving girlfriend privilege, privileges to the guys, that's okay though. But right? what girlfriend privileges was she giving? I don't know. We, <laughs> we, we wasn't there. Who knows what she was doing? <laughs> this is how you avoid it, my man. They, I don't think they ever said his name, but this is how you avoid it. Next time when y'all out, and y'all normally out like till twelve one, dip up out of there like ten thirty, and then say to her. I got me some yams. I gotta go get y'all. I'm up out of here. All right, y'all see y'all. So that way, guess what? Now you ain't even 
You ain't even in that zone. You ain't even in that put in that <laughs> position no more. You ain't got to worry about how she got home. You done went and got your yams. She done did whatever she did. And now you ain't even on the hook for it no more. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So you saying so so cause to me, I'm thinking it's showing like a lack of maturity. So you saying right now, Losin and on who behalf? Hold up, hold up. I'm just on who behalf? God. So okay, that's okay. why I'm asking y'all. Okay. So let me let me get my question out. Shut the hell up. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> She's so aggressive. <laughs> Go. So a chick friend zone you. Mm-hmm. And you kind of sort of separate yourself a little bit. No, not not separate. Just just back off. Back off a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So if you were the type where you was always making sure that she was getting home, oh, make sure you let me know when you get home and all that other stuff. And then she friends on you, saying, oh, well, you know what? I don't want to take this, you know, to another level. Let's just stay friends. Would you would you stop doing that? Well, yeah, because I was only laying the groundwork to get the coochie. Oh wow. I mean, <laughs> like if we, if if it happens, if it happens that we outside late or whatever and cool, like all right, yeah, as a as a gentleman, I'm gonna make sure you. But I would make sh- I would if I'm out, yes, I would pre I would preempt myself like all right, I'm not gonna be here late, so she think I'm gonna walk her home, buy her food. I'm not doing none of that. I'm gonna get out of here early, so that way you ain't even expecting it. Oh yeah, oh, but yeah, but yeah, ten thirty. Yeah, got this little shorty coming through. I'm out of here. So that way, I, she don't have to. Now you don't. You don't even put the, put yourself in that predicament because if she says something like, "Well, wait, you ain't gonna wait for me," and no, why would I wait for you? You ain't my girl. So yeah, I'm up out of here. I gotta go meet Janine. We gonna go get <laughs> freaky over here, okay? Did you ever heard of hot to uh-huh. Yes, I'm gonna go get hot to All right. So you, <laughs> I'm about to go get hot to Yeah. So you wanna stay here with Michelle and them? Do your thing, but deuces i'm out of here like that's how i that's how i see it like i wouldn't yeah, i but, wouldn't put myself in any, any more predicaments where she feel like she can rely on me on that on that level i would i would just take myself out of that equation so now, I'm, not, I'm not calling you at night i'm not doing none of that now now, now what i would do i mean i'll let you sleep on the couch i'm not giving up my bed because you're a friend i ain't giving up my bed you, you can sleep on the couch no and if i don't have a couch if, I, if she, if I, she I sleep on your couch you come to join on the, on the couch <laughs> you coming to join on the couch? <laughs> you know, hey, listen, I've been known to be a thief in the night. <laughs> oh yeah, you did say you hold up. You did say at one time you was a uterus collector. Yeah, the uterus collector, goddamn it. He the Grinch, but he ain't still a Christian. <laughs> she opened. She opened up my closet door. What's that? Uh, that's not just my uterus. I collected over the years. <laughs> hey, but that, that's on you. So any, look, let's go to the comments. Hey, we got Jaleel is. in the house. Hey, Jaleel. El Boogie in the building. El Boogie in the building. El Boogie Let's get El Boogie. Yeah. Tune in to the disc. No, sorry, wrong one. El Boogie, <laughs> there you go. God damn it. El Boogie in the building. So look, the first comment, the first comment mm-hmm. says, maybe she should go ask the bear. Oh, um, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Oh, that, now that I had deep this right conversation there. with two different groups of women and it was just so weird how like I, this is how you could tell that women don't use logic and i'm not saying this is all women so please don't be like oh, blah, blah, blah. but there was so many women that was on the oh i'm taking the bear like that just to me that's just <laughs> that's delusion like that's just very delusional that you would be in a forest and pick a damn bear but okay cool I, if that's what y'all want to do like go ahead do your thing that just makes no sense to me like <laughs> oh, hey. hold on Elbuggy asked that we change the start time no we ain't changed the start time it's always been eight o'clock we just was on time this time El yeah El see yeah. that's what it was <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't on cpt this look, time yeah you know black people they don't act like they don't know how to start on time hey, yeah. Ain't, ain't that like I gotta push him like, hey, hey, come on, start the timer. This is this is coming from okay, the, production. Uh, yeah, this is coming from you know the black woman who takes forever to, to get dressed. Probably actually, exactly. it don't. <sighs> That's one thing about me. I'm not the typical female. If somebody tell me they on their way, I'm outside by the time you get there. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something we want. Let's Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, let's go to the second comment. And if it do take me a while, I'm integrating that all into that prep that prep time. So you know. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, listen. So, second comment. Hold on, was you playing the violin for me? Wait a minute. Well, did I hear some violin playing? No, you're about to hear them crickets. Look, <laughs> <laughs> so second comment says she wants the girlfriend treatment without being a girlfriend. That's what I said. Most women want this. The, yeah, uh, you can. The girlfriend treatment yeah. without being a girlfriend. Yeah. 
And he, vice versa. Guys be wanting a boyfriend slash man treatment without nah, being in nah, Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We let me just ask, want let me the ask, cheeks. How, how, how can a guy <laughs> want the boyfriend treatment? Because, I mean, I can't see a guy asking his lady friend. Hey, listen, why don't you go in the kitchen and make me a fucking ham sandwich or something like that? Or, you know what I'm saying? Hey, can you wash these clothes for yeah, me? Yeah, or wash the clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you must be crazy. I got a man at home. So how can a guy want that tri- type of treatment? <laughs> no, see, see, what happens is, is y'all guys, y'all be real slick with it, you know, in, in terms of the terminology and how you speak and how you ask the things. Oh, y'all, is that what be, it is? Yes, that's what it is. Uh, see, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm just be like, I come by, I'm blunt. Hey, pull your titty out. Damn. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. <laughs> and Excuse I'm me, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> and I'm the total opposite. I'll, I could be starving. I ain't asking you a goddamn thing. I don't want you to think that I'm that guy. You are? You hungry? Nope. <laughs> Man, I'm good. No, nope. you will not go back Sitting to your girlfriend. Starving. Will not go back to your girlfriend's girl. I done made him all this. And he ain't got nope, nope. Nope. Hey. All right. So look, so last comment. She isn't his responsibility. And I believe that's true. Yeah, that's true. She's her own yeah. responsibility. Yeah. Like depending on how old they are. But yeah, hey. I, well, you know, she should be able to find her own way home. Exactly. Catch your Uber. That's, and that's why no. I said if you don't, I just don't like how he switched up on her like that. That's all. Like yeah, I mean, I mean if, you're, if you're really her friend, like, okay, yeah. yeah, if you feel some kind of way, if your feelings hurt, okay, yeah, I, I can understand you you trying to step back a little bit, but not like that. Cause that's just basically shows that you just weren't genuine to be the be from the beginning. But that's why I said instead of him like you know doing a whole 180 on her just switch up your your, your, your position a little bit yeah. instead of leaving at 12 12 30 when they all leaving is she expecting that yeah. dip out early dip right. so that, that way 8, 10 o'clock now yeah now now it's not my responsibility i left before y'all so i ain't got nothing to do with me right and she can't expect like oh well, how come you ain't wait for me you ain't my responsibility yeah like first of all did we even go to the party together like all i right, thought hello. i met you there or i was there before even you. if we did <laughs> if i'm out i'm out like you your own person i'm out Hey, I, I, listen here, baby. I got some skins to get to. Yeah. So <laughs> make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell us what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm saying this joint podcast. This joint. Uh, are we sliding to video number two? Number two. Uh, dos. Uh, uh, t- dos. Dos. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold. What? Did she, say, did she, she said dos. She said it, but it wasn't. I don't know. That was like some. Um, <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was like some New Mexico yeah, Spanish. Yeah. It wasn't really? really Mexico Spanish. CJ, you're just a hater. You said dos. <sighs> it's dos. Dos equis. Uno, dos. dos. There you go. Tres. There you go. Go ahead. Go we ain't got three yet. Get there. Yes, Look, save it. Hey. Save three. Save it. Hey. All right. Hey. Do it. <laughs> he know I'm right. That's why he's smiling. Okay. Uh-huh. okay. See? <laughs> See? Dose. Right, What's queso? Video queso that, is I'm, the I'm, cheese. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Leche milk. <laughs> first of all, first of all, it's queso, not hey. queso. Hey. Yeah, exactly. Y'all, y'all hear that spin? Exactly. All right, video number two. <laughs> what happened to Dodgeball? And please bring back Dodgeball. <laughs> bring back Dodgeball. <laughs> bring back Dodgeball. Because I, w- I want to know what happened to Dodgeball. Okay. You know what I mean? The internet. Let's go, man. You know I mean, you, are, are you ready to follow Peanut? Yes. All right, go. It's- it's this your podcast. Aww. Let's go. You guys are never going to believe this. I was with my little cousin the other day that's still in middle school. He's in seventh grade. I haven't been in school in a really long time because I'm turning into a dusty old bag of shit. So I was with him the other day and I decided to ask him how's school going. We were talking and he asked me, what is one memory from middle school that you miss the most? And I said, hmm, I'll tell you what, Junior. I kind of miss playing dodgeball in PE class and completely punting people in the fucking face. He said, what's that? I said, I beg your pardon, pal? You don't know what dodgeball is? He said, no. And I looked it up on the internet. They banned dodgeball from high schools and middle schools and elementary schools because it's too violent. What the fuck is this generation turning into? Too violent? Why don't I drag my fucking balls across your face? Is that too fucking violent? Are you serious? When I used to play dodgeball back in middle school, I never aimed for the body. I went straight for your fucking dome piece. And you're gonna say it's too violent? Listen, homeschool your fucking kid. Cause if you're keeping your kid in these public schools, they are gonna turn into a fucking vagina. Keep your kid at home and teach him everything you fucking know. Because he's gonna be fucked staying in these schools. Violence. Get the fuck out of here with
college. <laughs> they did it. He probably the reason why they took it out the damn school. Look at him. He was upset. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you, let me tell you, I I used to love dodgeball, man. Man, them but, balls and, and stink. Just like he said, I never aim for the body. Man. I'm going straight for your fucking head. I'm trying to rock you to sleep. Oh my ball. gosh, I done had that ball to my head a few times. That's the hurt. Whoa, oh, you like balls today? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to see how far you go nerves. with this one. <laughs> I had that ball to my head. Wow. If you would have said ball to the face, you all would have fell out. Like, wow. We're going up. <laughs> that views are going up. Viral. Mm -mm. <laughs> if y'all don't know our views, do go up because we do talk nasty. <laughs> yeah. So if you just joining us, you know, get some, oh, yeah. some we, nasty we, we, shit uh, yeah, here, y'all. We, we didn't we didn't say give you all the disclaimer. Yeah, uh, just a little risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a tad bit. Yeah, sometimes we get this going after dark. Bro, tell me you, you didn't miss dodgeball. You Listen, would, uh, I'm, I have two things going for me. I'm athletic and I'm competitive. So dodgeball is one of the most competitive games. Mm. If I can rock you, especially... especially you was one of the last ones always. standing. But, not, and this is to no disrespect to any of the like um, non-athletic you know, people out there in the world. But when you get that one kid that you know can't get out of the way of it, oh, oh you, oh, you're going straight. I'm gonna size his ass him. up and bow. I'm, I'm gonna take him out. So, yeah, I don't, I didn't even know dodgeball. I <laughs> like the fact that it's too violent. Okay, them kids see way more violence on TikTok exactly. than the dodgeball. Yeah. So. First of all, they need to stay active Just instead of being back. on them damn phones. But wait, but wait, let me ask. So. Uh, do they have recess in schools anymore? Yeah, they do. They do. What, mm -hmm. what, what, what are they doing? They, I don't well, know. I most don't of the kids, no kids, most of the kids, most of the boys are playing. Uh, they're throwing like throwing the football up and trying to like. We, in our generation, we called it mossing you. So it's like you're trying to catch it over top of everybody. Uh, we they call we it, call it kill a man with the ball. They call it head top. So it's like. If you see all the kids doing this, that's how you know that like they caught the ball over you. That's what most of the boys do. I don't know what the girls are doing. They don't r r jump. I rope remember or when I was in gym, we used to actually climb up a rope. And my gym teacher, we like they was not playing. We had to get all the way to the top. Oh, yo, we should do that. We, we had to get that. all the way yeah, to the top, and the top was the ceiling. They did not play them games. Oh my uh, god, yeah, they don't have that no more. They don't have like um, what is that yeah. called? I forget what it's called, but um, they don't yeah, have that I, no yeah, more. Like gym know. is just like. You know, just kind of running around, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jim was yeah. probably a bunch of kids on their phone like this. <laughs> right. Mm. Jim is uh, TikTok. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't oh, who we got? Hold on. Who we got in the building? We got Aisha in the building. We got Aisha in the building. Let me, let me give some Aisha. Right there. Hey, hold up. And El Plog is there. He said, yo, yo. What's up? Okay, El Plog in the building. Hello. Welcome What's to up? the two of you. Yeah, man. You got to get to El Plog too as well. Yes. You can't forget El Plog. Yeah, so Aisha's talking about football is more violent. Yes, football is more violent. I mean, well, football it is. is controlled violence. I mean, it is, Love but it. you know, most of the time. When you got bullies like you and CJ, I like hate, CJ wait. sitting here, talking like he he aiming for somebody here. No, yeah, no, that's oh my just, gosh! I mean, I, yeah. I end up having a nosebleed one time from somebody <laughs> hitting me. Damn, <laughs> you, better, you better you better protect your face from <laughs> yeah, the balls. They, they rocked you, damn. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, at the end of the day. Welcome, Aish. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it Ashia? Is that how you pronounce Ashia? That's nice. Oh, we got a first timer. Yes, we appreciate, welcome. We appreciate the love. We, 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 we talk love. a little crap on here. You know, we we, 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 react, we react to yeah. five uh, viral videos. Like, right now, we on video. We going on video number three? Yeah, we're going on two. Two. Two? Okay, I'm sorry. And I'm we like, get a little spicy. Yeah, just a Well, my fault, he get a little no. spicy because... You know, I mean, she's every white man's dream. Hey, my name is Honey Dip Tea. You know honey like Dip. The, you know you they like the caramels the and the chocolates. <laughs> the honey Dip. So look, 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 let's go to the first comment. So the first comment says, I look forward to dodgeball. And yes, when I was when I was in school, which was a long, 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 long yeah, time Yeah, he old, y'all. Yeah, see, we, we play old. dodgeball with fucking rocks. Damn. Yeah, if you ain't dodge that bitch, you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't making it to the next period. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I mean, you in the nurse's office after that. <laughs> That's when we used to have nurse's office. 
Now, hold on, hold on. Please tell me they don't have nurses' office now. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Please tell me they, they have office. nurses' office. Hold but up. I ain't gonna lie. They used the nurses' office when I was in school. It, they nurse used to be there every single day. Yeah. Five days a week. Yeah. Now, with my son, he's like eighteen now. But if I'm not mistaken, the nurse is only there certain days. He's out of school now, but. When he needed something, let's just say yeah. the nurse was only there a couple days out the week, which is crazy. Oh, for real? Yeah. So are they full time? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. No so more. like my cousin, she she does. Uh, she's a nurse in the uh, in the uh, Philadelphia school system, but she she I guess because they're so understaffed, she goes to different schools. So like Monday she'll be at one yeah. school, and then she, Tuesday and Wednesday she might be at another school. So she kind of rotates because I don't know if they have enough nurses to go there now. They normally have like a like a, I don't want to call her a nursing aide. I don't know what it is, but they normally have like a lower level type of health professional oh, so there. Jaleel just said they got the Bayada nurses and they on rotation. Unless uh, it's oh, wow. Aid. Okay. Oh, that's what's up. That's what, so I guess if you fucked up on a Monday, <laughs> ain't no nurse day, you, you just fucked up. <laughs> Look, yeah. they, they, they calling the parents like, uh, I need you to come get Jamal. Yeah. Jamal yeah. got a nose bleeding. We don't know how to how to how to how to fix it, so he got to go home. <laughs> hey, like you need to come get your kid. Why uh, he got his, he got a stick? You know, you know, their biggest throat. thing is okay. Yeah, we'll give him some Tylenol, but you got to come get him. <laughs> Tylenol. What the hell is Tylenol doing for a nosebleed? <laughs> first of all, first of all, let me tell you something. Back in my day, you wrote some tussing on it. Ooh, Everybody oh. know about that tussing, boy. You had to wrote oh, some gosh. tussing on that shit, man. <laughs> So, what we got? What we got? So we got comment, comment number two. Dodgeball is character building. Yes, it is. But um, again, yes, it is. These kids. One thing I say about this generation: they don't face no Man, adversity. They, soft. they don't face no adversity. They Dodgeball soft. is adversity. If you don't get out the way, you gonna have a headache for the rest of the day. So I did have one of the listen, headaches. You gotta, oh you gosh. gotta toughen yeah. up. Take one on the chin and keep it moving. Man, and then my gym had the nerve Take to be like in early in the day. So here it is. I'm walking around with a headache for the rest of the damn day. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. Yeah. The worst. Uh, you know what, man? Now make make me wish elementary. I miss elementary man, school. So, I don't miss high school, but I miss elementary uh, school. So I should say she said, What if a child have an asthma attack? I do know for a fact, like when my oldest son, he has asthma. They pretty much told him, look, have your asthma pump on you, but we'll also keep one at the office just in case if he forgot it. Man, so he soft, pretty man. much he got to know how to just use get, it. Now, what they do for elementary kids, I don't know. Like I said, it's been a minute. I don't have no just little kids anymore. Hey. You know, you had one of you, my, my day, you went an asthma attack. You know, they gave you a paper bag. <laughs> you breathing in it. Yeah, breathing that bitch, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These kids are soft nowadays, you goddamn you it. went to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so we got S.A. Diablo up there. Just subscribe. Who else we got that just subscribe? Somebody else that just boy, subscribe to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they did. Let me give him some love anyway. I give him some love anyway. Hey, we'll we'll some love love anyway. Hey. Goddamn. Goddamn. <laughs> so what we got? Comment number three. I'm in number three. Said so what? Dodgeball was the best part of middle school and high school. Yes, it was. Yeah, we ain't that's what we talked about, man. Yeah, yeah we ain't have um, dodgeball again. I went to Catholic school, so I we, did too. We had all that stuff. We he, not. In, he went uh, to Catholic school. They they had dodge the priest. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! They go find the judge. Let me get away from him. May, maybe the um, the other kind. I think, <laughs> They stayed away from us. Yeah, hey, oh, altar boy. Uh, like like Kevin said. Yo, let me, yo, let me stop. Hey, I don't want no smoke. He don't want no smoke, yo. Like Kend- I don't want no smoke. Like Kendrick said, they not like us. They not like yeah, us. They didn't, that, did, that didn't affect us. None of my friends. I don't know about that. Boy, the last, let me tell you, the last thing you want is a little black boy to be an altar boy, oh, boy. Oh, gosh. He tearing all your shit up. Oh, <laughs> they like, so Who the fuck broke the finger off the damn statue? 24 said, only people who didn't like dodgeball was the victim. Facts. Yeah, right. there you go. You, that's why I said. Oh that's why I said. I remember one time I hit athletic. somebody and they cried. I was like, come on, I ain't even hit you that hard. <laughs> oh my God. If you was not athletic, dog. you couldn't get away from that ball. They'd be like, Mr. So-and-so. You had, to, you had to be fast. You had to be fast <laughs> on your feet and fast with your eyes. Like, you got to like really watch that ball going back and forth. And you know what the uh, kids the, that was the best at getting out of the way of the ball? Was kids that was used to getting ass whoopings. Oh, so you trying to run from your mama? <laughs> you getting them legs up? Ooh, uh, uh, that's hey, well, you know, hold on, hold well, on. Well, then again, I don't know oh. about that because I ain't used to get a, I ain't used to get a lot of beatings. But 
I was pretty good at it. Hold I on. mean, I guess because Real I quick. was fa- I was always been, always been fast. Real quick. Did y'all used to play Catch a Girl, Get a Girl? Oh, come on, man. Yo, let me say, boy, let me South Philly legend. It used to be. The, the slowest girls was the ugliest girls. Oh, yeah, we know that. <laughs> the prettiest ones ran too goddamn fast. Look, and that was like, me. Man, this motherfucker, look, this girl right like, here. And then it was like, you ain't catching me. Cause you, you, look, you can't even. Like, I used to find yeah. the, the best hiding places. Like, wait a minute. Here yeah. it is, and I'm sitting here like, damn. Like, are they going to ever come find me? Then I used to just like, all right, here I am, because y'all ain't find me yet. Uh-huh. They was like, oh, we been gave up. Yeah, because y'all wasn't looking. Yeah, what well, the ugly John they be so slow. Listen, you Stop. run right by her. <laughs> you don't see me right here. Who? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they falling on purpose. <laughs> uh, I'm stepping right over top of them. Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going for the. I'm going for the cute John real quick. <laughs> I'm in my jaw like this. <laughs> no, they actually used to trick me sometimes. They'd be like, "Oh yeah, we on the break," and then I'm like, "All right." And then here it is. I'm just standing around. I was like, oh, we got you. I'm like, oh, you know, that was not cool. <laughs> you know, you know, they just all yeah. yeah. Oh, you tricked me. <laughs> Go on now. Stop that. I look, never, I would, if, look, if I didn't give myself up, they was never going to catch me. It just wasn't. See, she was one of those, y'all. She was one of the fast ones. And yeah, shit. I was. I, I Look, I ran track and cross country. Oh, so she definitely wasn't shit. catching me. <laughs> Listen, Aisha, Aisha asked, why were the boys allowed to play with the girls doing dodgeball? It's every man for himself out there. We ain't got, listen, y'all want equality, right? So look, get your ass boys, on this dodgeball. The way they, they would throw them balls, they was the ones that's hit, that was hitting me the hardest. Y'all want yeah. equality, right? You, you you want it to be equal, right? Hey, get on the dodgeball field and, and catch this, this this ball to the head, as you would say. <laughs> hey, lucky you might get two balls to the face. Oh, Ooh. Lord. This you on after dark. <laughs> right, look, Patreon look. coming soon. Look, two so, balls to the mouth. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, this, this, now we post an OnlyFans. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this you on OnlyFans. So, look. <laughs> so, so that's how we go to video number three. Number three. Tres. Come on, come on. This is my Spanish. Spanish. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Tres. Okay, that was all. God damn. You know what I mean? CJ, right. stop being a hater. You got to roll a tra. tra. Trace. Yeah. Not trace. Okay. Like Grace. trace on. Yeah, that was better. Oh, Here we go. Trace. You ready? Okay. I'm always ready. Always. Go ahead. What is it? Play. What is it? What is it? Stay what? ready so you don't have to get ready. And yeah. You know. That's there what I go. tell you. Isn't that what I tell you? It's Mr. Yeah, she did. Podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> STDs are running rampant in Houston. So the results that just came back in for the number of STD cases in Houston in one week. Chlamydia, 3,678. Gonorrhea, 2,955. Syphilis, 22,715 cases in one week. <laughs> Holy shit. HIV, 17,272 cases in one week. Unknown, there's five unknowns. So they're like, you have an STD. We don't even know what it is. Listen, you know, I, listen, I didn't even introduce the video, but I want to know Houston. What the fuck is going on in your city? You know what? In what the hell is so, going on so in Houston, God damn it. About, they moving down in Houston. I, that's one place I ain't going to visit. I ain't going to go move. I'm staying the hell away from Texas, period. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I ain't going to lie. I'm still going. I'm, oh, no, I'm still name. going. Mm. Now I'm 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 gonna stay far, far away. You better strap up twice. I ain't even I ain't even pulling my, my pistol out of the holster. Mm. I'm just gonna go there and window shop. <laughs> but I am just don't, j- just don't buy nothing and bring I it to hell back. I'm buying nothing. Mm. I'm leave getting that, all my leave stuff. That from that the right air- there in the store. I'm getting all my stuff from the airport. I don't want nothing <laughs> outside of the airport. That's crazy. So look, I am I'm, I'm 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 with I'm with Isha or Aisha. I'm with do you really believe those numbers? No, I, I mean, are those numbers really true? Twenty-two thousand cases of HIV in one, in one week, week is wild. That that would be somewhere on the news or something. That's I think not that's normal. Cumulative. I don't think that's how many new cases. So maybe she didn't clarify it. I think that's cumulative. I don't think mm-hmm. that's how many new cases in one week because, like, that's the whole daggone population. Like, come yeah. On. I mean, listen, they are the fifth biggest city in 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 the country, so they have millions of people. So twenty two thousand ain't a lot compared to their population, but See, in means, one week, that oh, means everybody is sleeping with everybody down there. Oh my God, that's just trifling. That's oh that's God, what you should do. As soon as you get off the fucking plane, you got to oh go get tested. Yes. Yeah, I mean, nah. you just have at the airport, dick dripping. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> dick 
like that's dripping. Like, oh, what the, you in a, what the fuck? You in a club? You in a club with a hazmat suit on because a girl grinding on you? <laughs> you in there with a hazmat suit on? Like, hey, I got a body condom on. Oh, God damn it! God. <laughs> so look, let's go to the first comment. So look, the first comment. The first comment says. I don't even want to fly over Houston. Now. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. That's fucked up, right there. <laughs> they got wrapped the plane in latex. <laughs> no, hey. Now, now I did hear there was a, um, I don't want to say a, a epidemic, but there was some high cases of sexual sexually transmitted diseases in Houston. Now I don't know. I if mean, it's that's true what she's talking about. Yeah. But I mean, hey. Look, see, she says she a pharmacist. She don't see that in a year. Yeah, Aisha, I, I, wow. I, I agree with you. Like, that, that, that just yeah, seems far fetched. Yeah. Like, again, 17, when she was saying 3,000, 5,000, I'm like, okay. Well, wait, yeah. did, did she say a week? Yeah, she said in a week. Yeah, but I, once again, 17,000 cases can't in a week. Be, that can't be new cases. It's impossible for that to be new cases. Hmm. Just in Houston alone? Like I mean, I can see if she's saying Texas, but she's saying Houston alone. I mean that that could be feasible. Like it's 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 possible, but that's just if not. If that's happening. the case, they need to shut the airports down. Like airports. literally, yes. Damn, you need to shut the whole city yes. down. And it, <laughs> shut it down. Because again, think about it. That might not just be only Houston residents. It could be anybody that just happened to be in the city and and took a test. Like that mm. don't mean that it's just Houston how, people. How is it? But then, many? but then, but then, let's look at what about. The, the population that's not tested. Yeah, that's the wild. untested population. That's wild. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm cool. I, I'm, uh, again, I'm still going. Because I want to see some, it's some sites. It's some tourist sites. It's, it's Boy, sites everywhere, everywhere that, not that, just in Houston. That big booty might But Houston you. is different. But listen. See, I'm, and that's why their numbers are so damn high. I, I said window shop. I said, <laughs> I'm just going to look. I mean, and look. I can stare because I got my glasses, so they won't even yeah, know I'm sometimes looking. Sometimes guys don't know how to just look at hey. this window shop. Y'all, hey, y'all think dumb. y'all buying? Well, a second comment says, "Out of all of those cases, it's ninety percent women, and only ten percent men." Now that's bullshit. Now that's that's, <laughs> that's a because damn I'm lie. a man, and that's bullshit, right? That there. is a damn lie. Yes, <laughs> like, you gotta stop. Y'all just be, see, this <laughs> is be, just be making up shit. This sometimes. is internet facts. That, this is how, <laughs> what, 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 uh, uh, y'all last president said: fake news. This is fake news. This is how stuff be spraying because people just be making up stuff. And that then what happens is people don't look up the information, and then they just take it. So right now it says, all right, Houston population is two point three million, okay. and that says of two thousand and twenty-two. Okay, now what? What about this? Look at like statistics for so you, sexually transmitted diseases. So you think about it, ten percent. Just say if ten percent of the population has STDs, that's still two hundred twenty thousand people. So that's why twenty-two thousand is like one percent. So. That 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 can, that makes sense. That just means everybody over there is just reckless and dumb. Yeah, but like hey, that's man, what I'm saying. Raw dog. That's what I'm oh, saying. The numbers, damn. Make, the numbers make just, sense. That's, that's but no, reckless. that's just out of pocket. Things. There's just not that many people got. They 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 lying. They gotta be lying. Yeah, yeah, they got. You know, but we gonna look <laughs> it up. We gonna find read. out. <laughs> we gonna find out. God damn it. We gonna find out. So the uh, look, y'all can find out. I'm good. I don't need to know because I ain't going. Yep. I'm staying. I wouldn't <laughs> say I'm staying my ass here, but I ain't going there. If a if, if a sexy man again, bingo calls then, you and say, "Hey, I'm from Houston," I don't care because my thing is, is like I don't know you. I'm hung like a rhino. I don't know you. Like a my know. thing is, is I ain't traveling nowhere <laughs> to to have no type of sexual intercourse or or in relations with anybody I don't know. You know how they have that whole saying, "What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas." Yeah. I'm not that type. So you know what? You can do that with somebody else. If I'm traveling somewhere, I ain't hooking up with you. Mm-hmm. South Stella got her groove back. Suppose man called you up and he said, hey, baby, how you doing? And he just put that thing over his shoulder. And, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know what, Lowe's? What? Go to comment. Did you did you read comment number three? Because I'm just going to just ignore you right now. Why the hell she just going to just just <laughs> little bore me like that, y'all? <laughs> uh, so, so did we do comment number three? No, 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 no. So comment no. number three. I've never been to Houston, but after this. I feel like I gotta get gotta get tested. What? Get tested for what? <laughs> you ain't even been yeah, here. Yeah. He, he, he gotta get to get his ears tested. Listen. Oh, 
If you if they say you got to get shots before you go to Africa, just go get your shots before you go to Houston now. <laughs> it's just like the same thing. Just just make it all one thing and then you good. Yeah. But all seriousness, please, you need to you need to strap up, man. Strap up. Yeah. Rocky Joe Dominguez, welcome to the party, yo. Hey. Now, man, welcome to the party, Rocky Joe. But well, you know, you got to you got to strap up. <laughs> and imagine you got to please. No. They got shit out here that's burning through latex, man. You got to no, watch they, it. They, they want it to feel good. First of yes. all, they all got all types of condoms now these days. That's real thin, but you can still feel it and all that other stuff. Yeah. The problem is, is you got all these people dealing with multiple people sexually. That's what it is. That's the problem. And that's what it so is. So when you got something from this person and you transfer it to that person <laughs> and now that person is messing with somebody else and now they transfer it to the next, that's that's where the problems come in at. Yeah. And let, let's go to, to Mama Honey Tea over there, y'all. Honey Dip Tea. You know what? Everyone, my name is Honey Dip Tea. I don't understand why he act like he can't get my name right. Like, how how, how long we been doing this, Lowe's? Like, come on. Really? <laughs> oh, really? Damn. What's with the crickets? <laughs> really? Honey Dip. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. What you talking? <laughs> I, I didn't know you were talking over there. <laughs> wow. I the up. blatant disrespect. <laughs> the blatant My bad. disrespect. I thought we went to commercial. My bad. Uh huh. Okay. Right, look, look. Okay. Look, look. You know what? Let's go to. The... Come on, sis. Shall we go to the next one? Quattro. Go to go to go to Quattro. All right. Go. Mm. Well, let me tell y'all something. You know how many weeks we we are like <laughs> episode one oh seven and she finally got the goddamn Spanish right. <laughs> you know how long it took her to get the Spanish right? Hey. hey. I'm I'm learning in price. This is in progress. I'm still learning. Let's go. Are you ready? Always ready. Yeah, it is. No, it's not Miss Spicy it Habanero. Don't even be bringing that back, Jalil. That was that was CJ's word. Let's go. Once again, I'm dealing with another situation where my son has left out the door and ran away in the middle of the night. Now the police is bringing him to my house. I just don't know what to do. The system is broken and there's no help out here for us. Parents, single parent. I'm crying out for help. All right. I'm not signing it. Okay. I'm, I'm not signing no ticket for no child that ran away out my door. And if I called y'all and told y'all, y'all tell me that I gotta wait 48 hours. I'm not signing no tea. You know how many times I done went through this? Who told you that? The police done told me that. I'm not signing no ticket that I gotta pay for. I'm not waiting 48 hours. Yeah, they tell me wait 48 hours to be able to do a runaway. I'm not signing no ticket I gotta pay for. No, you don't you don't have to do that. You can call call 911 report that immediately. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not signing it. I I refuse to sign it because let me show you something. I've been looking for him all night. I'm not signing it. Like, okay. I'm not even going to, I refuse to accept that ticket. Okay. I mean, it's still, it's still going to be under you. you that, that's just crazy. Y'all, y'all system messed up. Like, the system messed up. And you as a black man in that little black boy in the car, y'all got to do better. You see him handing me a ticket for a child that ran up out my door. And now I'm being punished. What you mean? I done called y'all. You called you, I don't, you, how, you know how many times I done called y'all? Last night? No, I did not call y'all last night. I done called y'all a thousand times. Okay. And I keep getting the same answer. I just picked him up from the county jail last week. And I keep getting the same answer. And I'm getting punished for this This boy keep running out my door. Now, I got to accept this ticket. I don't, I don't accept that. I understand. You don't have to accept it, but it's still a ticket. You're still getting a ticket. Like, I'm getting a ticket for what? For your child, for your child being out, I got three kids too. So you, so you got three kids. Yeah, so you, my, un, so my you child understand. Is running around at night time, I'm getting in trouble too. So but why to... I'm getting in trouble for an unruly child? When, when you, they gonna could've... start being held accountable? Uh, call now. I mean, it's a child. You got to be the parent. Like I said, I'm not sure how to, how you parent your child, but I have to parent my children. When my children act up, I have to do the same thing. What, what you do? Because if the, you know how many times I don't call you, you, like, you want to come in my house, listen. You got a yeah, and you probably got a mother in the house with your child as well, right? Your child got a mother at home as well right it's what? a no 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 but nothing you don't uh, you I mean, don't know what, I mean. what i'm going through no i got a son that don't bust my 80 inch tv in there i don't okay. call y'all 20 times go look in the system and every time i'm being held accountable when this when he not doing what he's supposed to i don't text him a thousand times i went out looking for him mm -hmm. i said send me the address here i come he's not he's not responding back 
Bring your ass home. In the now future, I'm being punished. In the future, you can call 911 if your child runs away. It's no 48 hours, nothing. That's what they told me last time. I'm like, not sure who told you that. You call, ask for a supervisor. You can report a child immediately. As soon as your child walk down, leave your eyesight, you can call 911 and report a missing. I'm not sure where you got that information from. So now I'm being punished because he want to keep running up out my call, door. Like I said, next time your child runs away, call 911. That that just crazy. The system like said, messed up, and you as a black man, we can, we you can yeah, because it's man. real. You a black man. Does, you know the help. system. Hell's what you mean? Parents got to be, be, be what? Held responsible for their children. What you mean? You if if he unruly, and I keep I keep listen. I don't cry out for him. I understand. I keep crying out for him. That part needs to be fixed. You're absolutely correct. But at the same time, you also got to be held responsible for your child. So if I so if I beat his ass right now in front of you, what you gonna do to me? You said beat his ass. Yeah, because. He, he disrespected me. He walked out my door without my permission. He busted my TV. You're you going to lock me you, up, right? How you handle your, your, your business as a parent, as long as it's not excessive, you can you have the right to discipline your child. So you tell me that, but another have, police officer come, the they're going to lock me up. Your child. You have the right to discipline your child. Like I said, as long as it's not excessive, as long as you ain't trying to kill your child, you have this George, you got the right to discipline your child. Now, but the last police to officer your child. told me if I beat him, they're going to lock me up. I'm, I'm not sure what... Anybody else has told you? I'm, I'm telling you, you could call the police immediately when your child run away. You got this is the state of Georgia. You got the right to discipline your child. Y'all just don't understand what it is to be a single mother. You no, you don't. You not boys. doing it alone. You probably got, I got a three boys, and one of my boys got in trouble with the law. So what you mean? I don't understand. I definitely understand. But you giving me a ticket for a child that is obviously I, unruly that I, I don't call the thousand times. Like so I'm now real, I got to find a way to pay for I'm these tickets. I understand. I'm look. That's not I. Feel for you on that, cause I didn't stop the kid. I didn't stop your son. I'm just, just dropping your son off. I, got, I just got here. I just got to work, so I don't even know the whole situation. You, you taking your frustration. And I'm not, me. but I'm just saying, as a mother, like y'all not gonna be satisfied to these boys laying in the street, or they done did no, something to somebody. We trying to avoid. No, y'all not not let him get if back out the car and come back in the house. He walking. gonna do it again. Well, he ain't you, learning no lessons. You want lessons. your boys to go to? You want your boys to be into institutionalized at 14 Baby, years old? Baby, listen. Guess what? Look, yeah, she's saying, look, you're a black I'm man, yo. Take him to her to his house. No, no, let me say, I mean, from <laughs> from working in this field, well, that field, one, you have to be a parent. Yes. Two, and he's just doing rule. his job. Three, you are responsible for your child. And I'm going to tell you what my belief is. I believe that the it takes a village to raise a child left years ago because too many parents said, don't talk to my child. Mm -hmm. You can't talk to my child mm -hmm. like that. Oh no! Don't do that. That's many parents when that's the village to be said, "Fuck your kid." Right. You got too fuck many parents that's trying to be kid. these kids friends, yeah, you, and that's why these kids listen, act the way that they do. Listen, let me tell you something. I, I'm gonna tell you this now. I, not all single mothers, but damn, for a lot of these single mothers are raising criminals. They are raising criminals. These boys are too emotional. I said it years ago. Men ain't men anymore because a lot of them are raised by single mothers and i'm not putting the blame on mothers or or the fathers I mean, because a lot, not a lot of fathers in the household because of circumstances or this and that a mother some mothers got to do what they got to do but yeah, yes but also at the end of the day okay and and i know i'm a little different yes i did raise my sons my sons don't get in no trouble at the end of the day i made sure to surround my sons with positive male figures in programs or just people in general that I knew that was going to teach them to try to be like men. Yes, of course, at some point they're going to, you know, you know, venture out into the world and, and try to do some other things. They're not perfect. But at the end of the day, I can honestly say my kids have always been around positive people. Like if I if I can't show you how to be a man, let me put you in the arms or the vicinity or in a community of men that can mm -hmm. teach you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, I feel her pain. I understand, but like, it just gotta be a deeper. Again, it's it's just it's hard for me to put it put like put it in perspective. But it's like, how we keep having all these kids by dudes that's not showing up? I don't. That's the part I don't get. It's just like we didn't seen this movie a million times, and I'm not saying that this is her circumstance, but it's like, huh? Like you want this man to be accountable for your kid? Yeah, Where's his father? That's crazy. You talking about well, all you your the system? Him, the system like, is broken. Where's his father? You didn't say not one word about him, and it's just weird to me that it's like all these men are being these, these uh shining examples of men, and then all of a sudden you have a kid and they're gone. That don't make sense to me. 
It's like some of y'all out here having babies by bums. Some of y'all out here having babies by guys that y'all yeah, know are not yeah. responsible. And then once that man shows you, been he been showing you who he was, but then he really shows you. Now you want the system to help and the cops to help. And it's like we got to start taking accountability. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't know his dad was a, a f boy and he changes he changed up on you. Okay, cool. Have you been doing all of the things? Because again, I know people. Whose, whose sons are stone cold, I don't want to call them criminals, but they know what type of kids they are. Right. And they enable the BS right. over and over and over. And now he's unruly, and now you want everybody to help you. And it's like, well, you've seen this when he was 11. Right. And you didn't say nothing. Oh, not my son. He didn't do this. And I... I but now yeah, he's so 16, he's out of control. And now he wants the cops to get him to up. Do, it's like, come on, man. You, at that point, he's already used to doing what he's doing. You got to be You got to be accountable. As a, as a parent, no matter what, you just have to be accountable. If the other thing is, is like, uh, in addition to the programs, you have all these different, I know here in Pennsylvania, like we have like different boarding schools, like um, it's a school called Hershey, then they got the Military Academy, and then it's like Valley Forge, like stuff like that can help instill that discipline in them, in them children. Not to say that to make someone what? else teach or, or raise your child, but if you feel as though like you're, you have no more control left, Instead of the the system or in the streets having your son, let's let another agency have your well, child well, well, that let me, can actually put well, them in me, the right place. Let, let me add: a lot of those programs have shut down because of funding. Um, a lot. I, I don't know how about what other cities, but in in Philadelphia, our city have cut the funding, so they had to shut down. So we don't have those type places anymore, Slate except Farms, only Glen Mills only Mills. if you catch a charge. Like they, Glen Mills is closed. Yeah. So Slate now, Farms, now, closed. now, if the child catches a charge, then he can go to a secure facility. Mm -hmm. But by then, it's already too late. It's too late. Right? Yeah. It, it's too late. So you really, I, my theory, and I do this with with my children is my foot is on a net twenty four seven. And I guarantee you, they will thank you in the long run Look, when they get my older. Kids, they be like, Mom, put your you so foot in that neck, you man. so strict, okay? Yes. Yeah, but you know what? Let me tell you something. You gonna have that discipline by the time you an adult, and you gonna know what to do was right. The difference between right and between, wrong. Between right and wrong. So let's let, let's go to the comments. So, first comment says, "Oh, now this one's raw diggity. Put the put the energy you put into these videos into your child, because trying to go viral won't save your child's life. The internet." is the devil and i, I always say Ooh. this and again i understand if you are if you are the single parent and you got multiple kids it's hard to you know give them all their individual attention i get that but if you have the time like a lot of people come home and they just sit their ass on the couch they on tiktok instagram doing and all this them kids and you no ain't attention. you ain't you ain't you ain't poured into them children at all right. so now you think at 13 he's supposed to just listen to you because you're the parent they know like in front of the tv what did you yeah. what did TV you do to try to, to keep them, them keep them occupied and again the one thing about a parent is it's the hardest job and it gives you the least reward right but it is what it is and it's so when you yeah. want to be you don't most of us don't want to be sitting on a football field at 8 30 at night on a tuesday in and the you, after you done after did you done 10 hours day. of work yeah. or you don't want to be sitting uh, uh watching uh uh plies being done a hundred times in a row because your daughter's doing dance and she and they, her team got to get it right and it's saturday morning at eight o'clock right and you up and you like no most of us don't want to do that but you know it's in the best interest of your child mm -hmm. so at the end of the day parenting is sacrifice and a lot of people don't want to sacrifice. Don't sacrifice their time. They don't sacrifice. Yeah. Where where do you try to correct it before it gets to that point? Because at some point, let's just say if the child and she said her son was fifteen, at what point did you see that he was acting up? Or displaying those behaviors somewhere maybe like around ten, eleven, that you could have <laughs> fixed it. See, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you don't just hold come on, out hold of hold nowhere. Hold on, hold on. Let me give a quick, quick shout out to Rhonda now for subscribing. Shout out to Welcome Rhonda. to the party, Rhonda. Yeah, I'm there. My son, my son was four years old. He was like a regular daycare kid. All of a sudden, oh, we got another. Hold on, we got another subscriber. Make that shit out to Andy oh, real quick, man. We got Andy real quick. Andy, hey. welcome to the party, Andy. Andy. But like, my son was four years old. He was he was regular daycare kid. He started wilding out after for some reason. He was just like. The, t uh, the, the t daycare teacher calling us oh he's doing this he's flipping chairs and i'm like what in the world is going on we took him to a therapist 
to see like was it something wrong was it us in the house maybe seem me and his mom arguing or something yeah, and sometimes all, when kids acting out they acting out for a reason and it just was because the teacher at the school was was he ain't like her and she just was not a good person to a four-year-old she was too old to be acting the way she was but we went to the to, to the length of getting him a therapist because we like listen we want to see what is the issue we didn't just let the behavior oh he just four he be going yeah. change like no you gotta put the effort forward so jaleel and, 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 said and these kids kid. are going to do what they want to do anyways you can teach them guide them give them opportunities out the wazoo they still going to do what they want i agree th with that to an extent <laughs> put that, put that net, to an extent because the, the reason why i say that is like you gotta you gotta have that discipline the and the main thing i guess what really helped me when it came to my kids it's consistency. It ain't no such thing as I'm your friend. Yes, you know, yes, I may be, you know, close in your age because I did start having kids young. But at the end of the day, I'm not your friend. I'm your mother. So and I'm going to always have that consistent, that's consistent parenting. And that's what saved me with my kids, because at the end of the day, yeah, you can have your little attitudes, but my kids respect me and they know I don't play them games. Y'all yeah, hear that. So let's go to the second comment. So the second comment, second comment says he's doing his job. Do yours. <laughs> he ain't the father. <laughs> yeah. Like the way that, the way that she was saying, like, uh, y'all need to get him and all. It's like, miss, which where I'm supposed to take him to my right. house. Yeah, 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 like, right. What you want me to do? I'm doing my <laughs> right. job. But yeah, I mean, like, I'm just going to adopt your child. Yeah. Like, what? He said, I just started work. I don't even know <laughs> what happened yet. He's like, listen here, girl. I ain't right. in the mood for this bullshit. My <laughs> shit just start, <laughs> goddammit. Like, so, come uh, on. Like, so, look, so last comment says, <laughs> last comment says exactly why I'm strict on mind. I have three boys. And right. That's why I said you got to put your foot yes, on a neck. Again, no matter how much it hurts. I was 16. I was um feeling myself after uh, I had um uh I had partaked in the 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 devil's nectar as a, as a youth um a young lady that was way older than me uh provided me with a, a sample of some some uh peaches and uh <laughs> Damn. it kind of had me like losing my mind. I was doing stuff that I had never done before. And my mom was like, "Listen, at the end of the day, you think you a man get out." Go ahead, do your thing. I ain't. I'm not gonna argue with you. I ain't gonna beat you up. Do your thing. And so it's like she gave me an ultimatum, and it kind of changed my thought process. And that was the last straw for her. So it's like I just don't be understanding. Like people just be allowing their kids to do whatever and say and whatever. That's why they, they do, do it. From yeah. Yeah. it's from the, because from if the they gate. start allowing it, they they're going to continue. So if that's what the kid is used to. Or is that if that's what the child is used to, that's what's going to continue. That's their norm. Yeah. I always say, like, my last point is, like, when you a parent, guess what? When you get on punishment, you put a kid on punishment, guess what? I'm on punishment, too. So you think I want to be here? <laughs> right. Like, oh, yeah, damn, I'm going to keep go out. Yeah. You all in my face. <laughs> I yeah. I'm a sad, you. Yeah. And make sure you yeah. don't go yeah. nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the hell? Well, look, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and, and tell us. subscribe. What you think, goddamn? Welcome to all the new subscribers out there. Yes, yes. Hey. Yes, yes. Hey. Yes, podcast, it's man. Yes, yeah, video number five. Come on, come on, T. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Video number five. Cinco. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, video go number ahead, five. Go we ahead, have... go ahead and talk shit, CJ. Nah, that was hey, Go ahead. Hey, all right, all right. That was like the Mariah Carey yeah. version. <laughs> so, look, we got one friend who won money at the casino and another friend that won some of that money. Who was wrong here? We, uh, we I gotta say no. I need more context. Yeah. It's Bitch Jump Podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. That's a shame. That's a shame. This girl is finna leave me up here. She finna leave me up here because I won't give her none of my goddamn witness. That is a terrible shame. That's a terrible shame. She finna leave me up here because I won't give her none of my damn witness. You stay right here. I gave you five dollars. With them five dollars, you can. Uh, you had one five hundred dollars. You could have gave me. I told you I didn't have no money. You gave me five dollars and I won five hundred and I gave you your five dollars back. But you what you want me to give you? You won five hundred. If you wouldn't have had five dollars, you wouldn't have won that five hundred. I told you I didn't have no money, but now you do. Hey, I want. I gave you a five dollars bike. What you want? What you want? Catch an Uber bike. Catch an Uber bike. Girl, you is not gonna leave me in no another whole city. Catch an Uber. You is not gonna leave me in no another whole city. Oh, for real? Y'all see this? Y'all see this girl gonna leave me up here? Hold wow, that's just ignorant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need more context. Listen, listen, no, but 
in all seriousness, I would break my my man's off with, with, with a hundred. Ball. No, I'll break him off with a, if I won five. I would give a hundred. Yeah. I'll break my man off with, with a hundred. Five dollars. Okay, you gave me five. I'm gonna break you off. Because I wouldn't want it without somebody? you giving it to me. She only won five hundred. It ain't like she won two thousand five hundred. She still could give her a hundred. Come on, a, a hundred ball. You went from zero. Cause think about it, you had zero. I gave you five. You can't give me a hundred. You got four hundred more than you came with. <laughs> like, come on, bro. See, that's what I be saying. People be stingy, like, bro. Yeah, but how you just gonna just leave somebody like no, that? No, no, no. <laughs> take this Uber. Get you just gonna get leave get Uber like Take this Uber bro. down the Yellow Brick Road so you can get home. I'm out. <laughs> Hey, look. Uh, oh, real quick. L Boogie just became a member. God appreciate damn it. it L. L Boogie, we appreciate it. Bro hey. Ski. Love you, bro Ski. Listen, man. Y'all got to listen. That, they, that person put you in position. That's just like if I gave you, I, I helped you, I gave you a referral to get a job or whatever, and you become like a, a senior vice president or something. Damn, you can't help me get a job at the at the, at the place or like a nice job. What, so about, what what happened to just like you know just doing things out of kindness? Like, yeah, I I get it, but if I do something for you, is it do you always expect something in return? No, but no but, it's uh, friendship. I mean, yeah, like yeah, you, know, I, I, you won something, so it's I'm, gonna like, break, I'm gonna break my. Eye, yeah, bro. I'm like, bro, you you because again, you helped me get the five hundred. I didn't have the five to even put in the machine, so you helped me get there. <laughs> Let's just say she wasn't even with her at the table and she won the money she didn't even know. Oh, it don't that, matter. I gave that, you the five. That, that's that's <laughs> poof shiesty right there. I gave you the five because guess what? Without the five, you could have sat at every table in here and nothing would have oh, happened. Gosh. So look, let's go to the first, the first comment. Says <laughs> she's about to spend half of that on the Uber home. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, that lady said. She said you gonna leave me in a whole other city. <laughs> Uber gonna be two hundred. $75. <laughs> that we were going to be like this. Hell yes. Look, she, look, but she still got 200 something dollars left over. Let's well, she would have had more if she would have gave her friend some. Yeah, ex ex exactly. Yes. Come on. No, you, I mean, you got just a 500. Look, look, so second comment. So second comment says, nah, give her a hundred at least. That's what I'm That's talking what about. That's what I'm saying. Just a hundred bone dollars. You know, that, that, that four to that five ain't going to make a big difference because you had zero. It was. It'd be different if you had two fifty. All right, you had zero. You went from zero so, to four hundred. So now, uh, T, think, T, think about it. What? So me and you, we, we at the casino. All right. Okay. I win some money, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, this shit. I won five hundred bones. Let's go get something to eat. Okay. And then I'm eating lobster all in your face, and, and you eating the taco, and I'm fucking up. Yo, you all right over there? Come on. If I'm eating the tacos, because I want to eat a taco. Yo, so you wouldn't feel some tight way? No, I wouldn't. So if I ask Oh, I need to go to the casino with you then. So if I ask First you- First of all, I don't gamble, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I, how am I going to count somebody else's money? Like- Somebody else's pocket is not mine. So I guess okay. that's where I'm at with this. It's but like, you okay. help the person get there. I get it. So the fact that they wouldn't reciprocate it, that's not weird to you. Like I helped you get there and now you won't you you won't even you so don't do even you always expect somebody to help you to reciprocate something in no. something that was unexpected. Yes. If you were expecting that different. But this was un you, she didn't know she was going to win. So the fact that she won, she could have returned the favor to her friend like damn friend if you if you never gave me the five i never get the chance to win i get that so that's yeah. what, what i'm saying, saying is like, how are you going to be petty and leave her that's my whole thing like how are you just going to just leave her because <laughs> she ain't giving you no money well, no no technically she didn't leave her because she got five to get back home yeah she, she, she just went she just went another route <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look at last comment so last comment said they are clearly cut from two different clothes. yeah like you couldn't yeah. be my friend after that like they probably uh, obviously wasn't friends to begin with. Yeah, so now you got right uh, Yeah, yeah, to oh you, around, you hit around the mark with that you one. That right there was like the, 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 true, the, mark test, with that the one. true test of time. Yeah, so look, uh, that was fifth video. Yes. That was fifth video. All right, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like, and comment, subscribe. subscribe. We appreciate all the subscribers. Appreciate the yes. subscribers. Everybody that subscribed today, bye, bitches. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>